national building codes are written in such a way that it's important to prevent the growth of fire by compartmentation. And compartmentation limits the, the extent that the fire can spread and therefore allows people to escape and when the emergency services attend site to ha help them to finish out the evacuation and also to uh, fight the fire. So fire stopping is the process of reinstating the fire performance of a compartment wall when it's been breached by a penetration, by a pipe or a cable passing through it. Or it's the process of reinstating a, a, a fire performance on the joint between two elements. So between a floor slab and a wall or between two parts of a floor slab or head of wall where the, where the wall comes up to meet it. And the fire st you've got a performance of fire protection that you need from that wall. And if you pass a pipe through it or a cable through it, you make a big hole. Fire stopping is had the process by which somebody would come in and reinstate the fire performance of that division, that wall, that floor, that ceiling. If fire stopping is absent or defective in some way, shape or form, then obviously the fire can move from compartment to compartment to compartment. The fire grows, the fire spreads, and this can cause the incident to get much bigger, and it's therefore harder for the fire and rescue service to attend. Ultimately, this can lead to complete and total loss of the building, much greater fire losses, much greater damage, and the the actual incident being a far greater incident. In terms of in properly installing fire stopping, we will, it, it's always advisable to use a product or a system that has third party certification. And what you need to do, what, what users should do with that third party certification is they should assess that that certification covers the scope that they have on site. And if the third party certification covers the scope that they have on site, that's their best way of ensuring the product that they're using is fit for their end use. Secondly, end users should always look to have the product installed by a competent contractor. It's very important. It's not necessarily something that a general builder can do. You need somebody with experience to make sure that they are doing all the correct steps and the correct processes to ensure proper fire compartmentation is, is produced. And third party certification of, so you need third party certification of both the product and the installer um, to give the best possible chance of getting the right outcome. And if you as a, if you were a building owner and you specified third party certified products applied by a third party certified installer, you've done the best you could possibly do to make sure that your building is properly fire safe. 